as a graphic designer, I work a lot with typography, lettering, stuff like that. And I want to show you guys something that I think is pretty cool. There's a really simple way to create your own custom typeface, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, I'm going to use an iPad. But you don't need an iPad. You could use Adobe Illustrator, or Photoshop, or even cut paper and a photocopier. The principle at work here is that all letter forms are made of the same shapes repeated over and over. Okay, so here I have these basic shapes, and I will mirror these so that I get a little bit more variety. But this is pretty much all I need. I'm going to select the parts I need to make the letter A. I'm going to duplicate them and move them down here. So of course there's going to be times when you need to modify your shapes a little bit, but for the most part you can see how this works. I think you kind of get the idea. I'm going to keep plowing through this and I'll show you a couple of the letters as I go. So obviously I can create some letters out of others. So this may seem pretty like basic elementary stuff, but how type designers ensure that their alphabet is consistent and that each letter relates to the other ones. Now, I'm going to do R, which is one of my favorite letters. Yes, I have a favorite letter. There you have it. There's the R. Way down over here. Again, I have to kind of adjust a few of my elements to make the letters work. So that was really fun for me because I geek out about this sort of stuff all the time. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Also, if you want an Illustrator file with all those letter forms, the, uh, the alphabet that I created today, I'll send you a link. You just got to chat me. And, and last of all, if you want to talk and totally geek out about type, if you want to hear my favorite typefaces and tell me your favorite typefaces, just chat me and, and we'll we'll talk about it because I could talk about type forever. I am such a nerd.